Hey everybody, welcome back. This is another question and answer session on my YouTube channel. I really love the questions. Keep them flowing in and uh, I'll try and get to them as soon as I can. Well, the first question is from IR Lee 200 This person asks, will you please upload more on the day Hanmadi? Yes, I will. I will upload more today's expressions. Uh, I see that a lot of people are watching them, especially, uh, I think in America, some Korean communities in San Diego and uh, Denver and some other places, Vancouver. Hi, everybody. Uh, thanks so much for finding these videos and watching them. Tell your friends, enjoy, and have fun. Um, I do have a cafe, cafe.down.net slash coach shame. And there are even more today's expressions up there. So you can watch them there. But IR Lee says the buffering is not so good. So please upload them to YouTube. I will get on that. Yeah. Uh, it's just a matter of time. Thank you very much, IR Lee, too. Uh, Bexu77, Bexu77, can I upload these vids to my blog? Yes, you may. Thank you very much. Uh, you can use my vids anywhere. Be nice, don't do anything weird. It's free. Remember, the videos, the Ondere Hanmadi are free. Um, so I would appreciate a link if you could tell people if you want to see more videos, go here. That would be really nice. But uh, yes, you may use my videos. Uh, they are free. If it's not free, I'll let you know and I'll say this video cannot be copied. But so far, every video, you can put it on your own site. Don't re-edit it though. No, I, you can cut it. Yeah, well, yeah, well, just just make a link and you can use it. Thanks a lot, Bex. So anybody can do that. I appreciate that. Pakun Gong Sam Il Il. How can I improve my drama listening skills? Well, I recommend you register for my class. I do teach online classes too. Uh, part of my classes deals with dramas, American sitcoms and crime dramas. and uh, I like news programs too. I like Today in History. It's a very good thing. There's lots to learn. Now, the key with improving your American drama listening skills is, of course, the pronunciation and the vocabulary. But more than that, it's the culture. If you want to understand the shows, you have to understand the background. You have to understand what people are thinking, why they say these things, and what these things mean. And I think the only real place you can learn is by living in America or Canada or England, watching the shows and then asking your American and Canadian and British friends. Or come to Papa. Come to me, that's right. I teach at Ikun Ogwan in Gangnam. You come there, take my class, I'll square you away. Or you can register for my online classes too. Uh, but anyway, if you have questions, you're more than welcome to ask me. Uh, but just practice makes perfect. The pronunciation and the vocabulary, that's something you can do. Just repeat, shadowing, uh, memorizing. But uh, to really understand the culture, you need to ask your friends or come to me. Okay? Thanks for the question though. Uh, grass monkey butt. What a great name, Grass Monkey Butt. Uh, I, do you teach, do you have lessons for uh, Korean? I'm learning Korean. No, Jandi Wongsungi Ongdungi. <laughs> grass Monkey Butt. I like that. That could be the name of a band. It should be the name of a band. Why don't you make a band called Grass Monkey Butt? I'll bet you'd be popular. Uh, Liaison 75. Now, this person was listening to Today's expression, 72. I feel complete. And Liaison says, It sounded to me like that's a lying from Jerry Maguire. But actually it was, that's a line from Jerry Maguire. How can I tell the difference between lying and lying? Well, that's a great question, Liaison, and, and let me write it down here. We got lying, kojimal, and we've got lying, desa. So lying means not telling the truth, and lying means 
uh, dialogue that an actor memorizes and then during the movie it says, The truth? You can't handle the truth! That's a line from As Good As It Gets. Jack Nicholas, right? There you go. So, lying, lying. Oh, come on, they're totally different. Lying, lying. However, when we say it fast, lying, lie, and then it's kind of a, it's like a lie and then an un, okay? In Korean, it's easier to write in Korean, actually. We can say lie in the front and then un, lion, lion. And this would be line. So, Basically, it's line. It's it's one syllable. This is two syllables. Line, lion. Are you lying to me? Are you lying to me? Line. Don't give me that line. Don't give me that line. Are you lying to me? Don't give me that line. I don't like it when you give me that line. And I especially don't like it when you're lying to me. <laughs> I'm just joking. I know I need to shave. Uh, they're actually quite different. Grammatically, they're very different. This is an ing, so we're going to need an r or an is verb in there somewhere. Uh, a line, Yogi, well, we need an article in front, the line, a line, my line, something like that. So grammatically, they're quite different. The situation should be different enough for you to understand, but I know when you're listening and you're really concentrating, it gets confusing. Oh, was that line or lion? Lion? Lion. Does that help? Well, I hope so, Liaison. Oh, we got one more uh, comment here, and this is great. Uh, this is from uh, Hanayi Hanayi. Mm -hmm. And she says, the R sound is written and spoken in Korean in the following words. 사람, 사랑, 바람, 소리, 노름, 보람, 가람, 하나름. Hmm... Now, you also gave me something there on the L, and the L, that's a tough one. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with you with the L, but not the R. I'm sorry, I'm going to disagree with the R, because if this is an R sound, it would be saram, saram, sarang, baram, sorry, norum, boram, karam, han arum. Okay? So remember, when you do the R sound, the R does not touch the chigyam, alveolar ridge. It doesn't touch its back. It's not a it's not a rolling R. It's just a clean R. Okay? So, saram, uh, saram. Mm, it's going to be different. So what's funny is Americans, when they study Korean, and they write it like this. They'll say, this is the word for person. And in English, it's written like this. And then, of course, in Korean, it's saram, but then the American goes saram. And some Americans say saram, saram. Oh, yeah, I'm a nice saram. <laughs> and what's funnier is they think boksu, just add an S. So, I'll see you, sarams, later. Keep those questions coming in, everybody. Bye-bye.